Hello, I'm Corey. Welcome back to the Healthy Families MIS video training series. During this video, we will be showing how to capture a fraud visit in the MIS. We are using a test site, so all the data you will see is fake. Before we begin, I want to mention that we use the home visit log to document a fraud visit or visits. The fields are entered as usual, but with several key differences. So let's first go to the fraud form. We can see a completion date of October 4th. And here we are reminded that the fraud can be completed in more than one visit. And that the date seen here is the most recent fraud visit date. Keep that in mind as we go to the home visit log. Click on the new log button. Then enter the date of the visit and click submit. This is the first page of the home visit log. The home visit date is pre-filled from the landing page, and the worker name is pre-filled from the case homepage. If the worker name needs to be changed, click here to access a list of the active FSS and FRS names. As usual, we enter the time of the visit, and then click the Frog Visit checkbox. Please read the instructions next to the checkbox for the first few times you are entering a Frog Visit. As the instructions state, we will complete the first page of the home visit log as usual. Then we will move to the Program Activities tab. Enter the assessment related section as appropriate, complete with the narrative. After we have finished entering the fraud assessment information, we move to the Parent Response tab. Enter the date of the next scheduled visit and any notes that pertain to the next visit, and click Submit to Save. If the completion of the fraud takes more than one visit, go to the fraud. Enter the date of the new assessment visit, and then again go to the home visits and start entering an additional log with the most recent fraud visit date. Click the fraud visit checkbox once again, and follow the instructions to capture this fraud visit. Just an FYI, the fraud visits will be included in the calculation of the home visit rate. So that ends our video on capturing a fraud visit in the MIS. We hope it was helpful and we appreciate your taking time to view this video. It will be posted on our blog along with other training videos and training materials. Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye!